Look, I'm going to say this. I, it has happened to me as well. May Allah forgive us all. Sometimes what we do, when you have a helping hand at home, and we want to call them, whatever the name is, you're calling them from three rooms away, eh, and they haven't heard you. And then you call their name again, eh, and they haven't heard you. You say, she's deaf. She's deaf, Allah gave you legs. You need to walk there, and you need to say, Salaamu Alaikum, please come here. She will come immediately. Who told you to scream from one side of the house, expecting her to listen from the other side of the house? If you really wanted that to happen, install microphone and install <laughs> loud hailers in every room. So then you've got to say, please come here. She'll be <laughs> like the airport and like some of the stores. You don't need to scream. But we are foolish because we are all guilty. Sometimes from one side of the house, we scream to the other side of the house and then we get angry that she purposely didn't come. But hang on, the Quran tells you not to scream and yell, which means, in other words, take a little walk to where they are and tell them nicely with respect, look, I need you here, please come. It will help your cholesterol levels as well. You took a walk. <laughs> Allahu Akbar.